Well done. Well done. That's, great, that. That's going to really confuse you now. <laughs> throw another no. one in as well. Yeah, yeah. I was going to do that. Okay. Uh, today. Today. A little bit. Okay. Why ventilate? Oh, yeah. And who cares? Who cares? Who cares? We care. Well, we care. Hopefully, we care. they care. Yeah. You care. Yeah. Everybody should care. Why? 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 Well, there's a lot of problems within buildings themselves, you know. Um, I, just a few stats for you. 50% of illnesses are actually aggravated by poor indoor air quality. Oh. Not going to help that's at not, all, really. Not help, no. Fifty yeah. percent. Yeah. Of illnesses. Yeah. I spend a lot of time indoors, so again, you know, having a good ventilation strategy is a key thing. This spent yeah. for ninety percent of our time indoors. Whether it be at work, yeah. in the home, sleeping, in bathing, the office, in the bath, the candles, the bubbles. In the office. With a glass of wine. In the office. In the office. What with a glass of wine? Yeah, in the bath. Why well, not? Eh? In the bath. Should have liked that one. But yes, um, I'd also say it's, uh, is it one in five homes suffer from condensation and mould? Yeah, again. One in five. Yeah, not great at all, really. No. So again, that's down to, you know, poor indoor air quality. So what is this poor indoor air quality? Well, We've mentioned condensation and mould. Yeah, well, what else have we got? VOCs. Uh, VOCs. The old volatile organic compounds. Wow. The old volatile organic compounds. Cat me teeth yes. in there. There's so a fair few of those, isn't there? There is, yeah. Especially with you, with your scented candles. Oh, yes, they do come from those scented candles oh. around the bath with your yeah. glass of wine and the bubbles. The odours, the smell. The mask. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. going on within a property that, you know, if you could see the old viral soup, if you like, you probably wouldn't mm, even the enter. Old viral soup. Yeah, not mm. something you would go into. Thinking about the old viral soup. We've got these lovely blighters. What are these? Oh. Little spiders? Mm, not quite. Part of the spider family with the legs. Yeah, they're uh, dust mites. <laughs> dust mites. There's thousands of them. Oh, they're everywhere. Fabulous. They're in your bedding. They're in your carpet. They're in your furniture. Oh. They're on your skin. They're in your clothes. Oh, the fabric in your building. Oh, nice. They're everywhere. Oh. Mm. Don't, don't worry. That's don't, don't, all right. Just don't don't panic. Yeah. We need them. They're good for us. Good for our immune system. Right. That sounds they okay feed then. Feed on our dead skin that we shred every day. Right, okay. It's just they like these higher humidity levels as well. Ah. They thrive. So you need food, you need water. Mm, they like that. Right, okay. And then you have millions of them. Right. Ooh. And it's not these little blighters themselves, it's their feces. Ah, it's what they're leaving behind. It's what they're leaving behind in your bedding, in your pillow. In the pillow? In the pillow. Think Ooh. about tonight when you get that pillow and you go. All that feces goes up in the air, and you put your head on the pillow and go. I don't like that. That's disgusting. I always puff my pillow on the morning. Do you? Yeah. I tend to do mine on the night time before I go to bed. Yeah. Well, you've obviously not heard about these dust mites and their feces. No. Well, what happens if you're staying in a hotel? Oh. They're not even oh, your dust mites, yeah, are well, they? Well, some of them will be, but they'll be feeding on somebody else's dead skin as well. Ooh. Oh. No. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 hell no, no. Sleep in the bath. Sleep in the bath, a little your tip for you there, yeah. Your bubbles and your candles. Oh, yeah. That's a why. Crikey, not good, not good for you. So to yeah, reduce nice. them, we need to control the ventilation. Right. We'll have good ventilation and control the humidity level. Right, so lower humidity levels, less moisture in the property, less dust mites. Less dust mites. Sounds like Better a plan. for the air quality. Wow, fantastic. So, Just one thing to bear in mind as well, obviously with humans, uh, or whatever you want to call them, animals, everybody else within a property, we do generate a lot of moisture. Uh, your average family, partner, partner, a couple of kids, maybe a dog, hat. 3.25 or 3.75. Something like that. Let's round it, let's round it up good. to four. Four person family. 16 pints of moisture a day. 16 pints. I can't drink that much. I'd have a go. Oof, I'd have no, a go. No, I don't think I could drink 16 pints a week. 16 pints of moisture every day. If I that would be your, that would in... be 112 pints a week. Well done. That's you. what my math says anyway. Is that what uh, math says over That's there? That's what the math says over there. there. Well done. If I come into your house every day, yeah? Morning, you all right? 16 pints of moisture. 
Wash. <laughs> <laughs> You came into my house every day. I threw that on the I threw that on the living room wall. What's that wall gonna be like after a few days? What's it gonna smell like? What's it gonna look like? Mm. Would you let me in? No. Oh, okay. I wouldn't let you in on the first day. Yeah. With or without the moisture. So it's wouldn't let you in. Yeah. Look like one of those. I suppose the problem we've got as well is, you know, when we're trying to keep properties, you know, warmer, we're trying to keep all the heating in, we're creating a sealed box. So that in turn is also keeping everything else in. So another video on that one, the sealed box mm. and the viral soup. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, I think that's enough for people to understand a little bit of why they should ventilate. Yeah. That we do care. Yes. Hopefully they care about their own health. So if you do care. Like. Subscribe. Watch more. Learn more. See, see you soon. soon.